Hi, I'm Riley Brennan here with GPS Talks here with Shannon Byrne of Slow Jams. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. So what is Slow Jams? Slow Jams is a local Detroit-based jam company um, and we use all Michigan fruits and Michigan sugar and bring a handmade jam to the market. All right, when was Slow Jams created? Slow Jams was founded in 2011. What got you interested in forming your own business? Um, I was actually working with a group of folks at a community garden here at the corner of Mac and Alter. And um, it was 2011, the economy was in um, a really rough spot, and we decided we wanted to preserve as much Michigan fruits and vegetables as we could to feed our own families. So we started by doing that um, in an effort to support our local farmers and our local economy. And when we started making jam, um, our friends, family, everyone wanted to uh, know why they couldn't get a product like this on the shelf. So we decided to go for it. Awesome. Why did you choose to specialize in jams? Why did we specialize in jams? Yeah. Um, well, we wanted to bring our product to Eastern Market, and when we were looking at what we had to offer, there weren't handmade, all Michigan local jams represented at the market at the time. Um, that's where we felt like would be a really good start for us. Um, and you know what, who doesn't love jam? True, <laughs> very true. What kind of recipes did you start with? Um, we started with some interesting stuff. So everybody needs raspberry and strawberry and right. you know blueberry jam. Um, but we wanted to give people like a culinary option. So we did um, strawberry but with balsamic vinegar. So we did blueberry lavender, um, raspberry lemon verbena. So some of those were some of our first recipes. Um, and we found that people are really receptive to having a little bit of creativity, yeah. um, either for cooking, entertaining, or, or just to serve their families. Yeah, strawberry balsamic is one of my favorite things ever. Uh, I love strawberry balsamic. All right, thanks. how are your products unique? Um, I think the couple things that make our products unique, um, they are all locally sourced. So we are committed, our number one commitment from when we grew out of the community garden was to support our local economy. So all of the fruits, all of the herbs, all of the sugar that we use is sourced right here in Michigan. Um, in addition to that, we use a Michigan jar distributor, we use a Michigan label company, so we really take it local to the absolute farthest degree possible in order to help support our economy. That's awesome. What are the benefits of having your own business? Oh, <laughs> well, there's lots of benefits of having our own business. I have learned more in the process of growing a small food business than I think I could have um, anywhere else. So you have to learn not just about the production pieces, but you have to learn about marketing and accounting and sourcing. So you have to really stretch and grow, and I think that's a huge benefit. What are some of the challenges of running your own business? Ah. Um, I think the number one challenge of running your own business is there is no roadmap. So you know you want to be a doctor, there's a roadmap on how to do that. Um, but if you want to run your own business, each business has its own um, markets, its own flavor, sort of its, its own personality. And so there isn't a blueprint. Um, so it's sort of creating something um, each day. Yeah, that's awesome. Who runs the company along with you? Um, I have a wonderful team. Um, so we have myself, um, I have uh, a young man named Julian who is kind of my right hand man in this team. He runs Eastern Market. So if you've ever been down to the market, you have met Julian. He's the, yeah. the face of Slow Jams um, and does all sorts of other pieces. And then we have um, a demo team and a sales team. And we have Maria who's also key in production management. So it's a, it's a small but mighty team. That's awesome. What do you think about being an entrepreneur? Um, I think it's amazing. I think I've had the opportunity to connect with so many people in the community. So customers, um, huge. We've had you know such a great response, and it's really wonderful to get to know folks on that level. Um, but also our, our fellow entrepreneurs. So right now in the city of Detroit, there's a huge food movement happening. Um, and the folks that are involved are really focused on being part of a growing and strong community. So there's a ton of support. And I think that's one of the most, um, the most powerful pieces of being an entrepreneur is to be part of a community that's working together to, to further all of our interests and further our economy. Yeah. Where can one find your product? Um, here locally, uh, Village Market, uh, Cornwall Bakery in Gross Point, Small Favors right down in the village. 
Um, of course, at Easter Market every Saturday, all year, um, and also at local uh, area Whole Foods, Bushes Markets, Westbourne Markets. All right. Where do you see Detroit's economy headed from like right now? From right now. Yeah. Um, I think that you guys are growing up at an exciting time in Detroit. Um, I think there is um, a tremendous amount of investment in not only the sort of big picture investment you see from like Dan Gilbert, um, but there's a lot of investment in the smaller businesses like what we're doing. And I think it's going to um, create a much more diverse economy than Detroit used to have. And I think because of that diverse economy, Detroit is going to um, grow and thrive, and it's going to have an amazing, sustainable um, period of growth. I certainly hope it will. What is the next step for your company? Oh, <laughs> um, we're constantly looking at how we're growing and um, what areas we can expand into. So we have some distribution going now into Chicago, which, is, which has been wonderful. Um, we plan on increasing distribution throughout like the northern and western part of the state. Right now we're pretty focused on the Detroit and Ann Arbor area. Um, and in that we include both um, growth in the retail market and also um, in restaurants and cafes um, that have been a huge um, piece, of, piece of our market. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching GPS Talks. We'll see you next time.